let's create an Electrum Dash wallet or client from scratch. Now, the Electrum wallet is a light wallet. So you don't need to download the whole blockchain. That's why it's referred to as a light client. So let's get into this. Hi all and welcome. You're looking at the new Dash logo here. Uh, it's just been revised. Now at the end of 2018, the new Dash Evolution wallets will begin to be launched. But for now, the Electrum wallet is a fantastic starters wallet. It's a light wallet, uh, a lightweight wallet. That means that it won't, there we go, secure light wallet. So that means that we don't download the whole blockchain, which can take many, many hours, even days. On these wallets, the download is around a minute or so, depending on your internet service. So be very sure that you are downloading from the correct place, either electrum.dash.org or go to simply dash.org and go to wallets. And within wallets, we can go to the home page of dash.org. This is the home page of dash.org and you can go to all wallets. And then on all wallets, uh, you can go to desktop, you can go to, I'm running a Macintosh, so I go to OS X, and here I'm going to download from here. So, download. And as I said, this download should take less than a minute or so. On the Macintosh, it downloads into the Downloads folder. Once the download is complete, double click on the icon. So, here we have the icon here, and then once again, I'm going to open this up. Uh, it's a, an application uh, downloaded from the internet. In this case, yes, I want to open it. Uh, you may have to go to the security part of your computer, uh, but for me, I'm just going to open this up right here and now. Open. Okay, so here we have the default wallet, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to name this wallet. So I'm going to name this wallet Tutorial Dash, and then Next. Now. We're just going to create a standard wallet. We don't need to go into these ones here. So standard wallet and next. Now, this part's important, so let's take note. Here we have create a new seed. So the seed is basically, we are going to create a new wallet uh, completely with a new private key. Now, if we already have a seed and a We'll, we'll see the seed soon. A seed is a string of words. Uh, if we already have one of them, we can select this and we can put in that seed, that private key. But in this case, we are creating a whole new wallet. Now you also see here there's, you can use a hardware device like a Trezor also. But in this case, we're creating the, the basic wallet. So we click on here, create a new seed, and then we will proceed. Okay, so right beside the seed icon here, we have the seed. Now, what, we, what, what it says here is, please save these 12 words on paper. Order is important. This seed will allow you to recover your wallet in case of computer failure. So for beginners, just to explain that these wallets give you access to the blockchain. So if you have your wallet on a computer and your computer falls into the ocean and you can't recover your computer, you can't get it back, it doesn't matter as long as you have your 12 word seed. And as we just saw in the prior window, you can type this 12 word seed in and recover your wallet. So what we're going to do now is write these down on a piece of paper. So here are those 12 words copied in correct order, my seed, my private key, recorded on a piece of paper. Now those 12 words 
are also represented in this QR code right here. So you could also take a copy of this. You could even have a camera completely removed from the internet and all that. So you could take a camera and take a photograph of it as well as your seed. You can take a photograph of both of those and put that on a memory stick or something like that and put it somewhere safe, very safe. And I would suggest you put your private seed and perhaps also your QR code as well, but at least your private seed in two safe places. Now, if anyone gets their hands on these, they anyone else, they have access to your funds as long as they kind of know what they're doing and can, uh, uh, can open up a wallet and so forth. So we're now going to proceed to the next window next. So now they want us to retype that seed in here. So I will proceed to do that right now. They are making sure that we know the seed. Okay, I've typed the seed back in and we now proceed to next. We now put in a password or passphrase. Uh, it's called encryption, so we are encrypting the wallet. So we will now put in a password. So I've put in my password and now I can go next. Okay, so here is the brand new Dash Electrum wallet. We'll have a quick look over it for a moment. So the balance is zero. No, I've got no funds in this brand new wallet. If we go to send, we can see a place to put in an alpha numeric address and we can put a description in here also that will come up uh, so we can see, you could write down who you sent something to or something like that. It just gives you a record uh, of what you've done and the fees here and you can adjust the fees and so forth. We will now go to receive. Now you have a receiving address right here. Now this alphanumeric receiving address is the same as this QR code right here. This QR code and this address uh, uh, have the same information on them. So you could take this address and you could put it up on your blog site uh, with dash, say donate dash below it, and people can donate dash uh, to this address and to this wallet. If we go to addresses here, you have further addresses in here. And if you click in here, you can put a description in here. So with this address you might use it for donations from your blog. So I'll put in blog donations like so. You have another address here. This one might be uh, sales of t-shirts. So you can uh, write something in here like uh, sales of t-shirts and so on like so. So you have these various addresses down here to use and obviously you can use them, these receive addresses for different things. Okay, down here we have the seed once again. So I'll click on that icon and I need to put in my password. So I'll do that and go okay. And here we can see that seed again. So this gives me a chance to relook at the seed for this wallet. Now that seed is basically the private key and once again I can click on the QR code and here it is. So if you just want to relook at it, you can do that right there. Further down here there are adjustment tools and so forth and you can go through these yourself. Here you can change your password. Okay, on my phone I have the Jax wallet and I have some dash on here and I'm going to send some 
to my new Electrum wallet. So I'll have, you've got the different tabs up here, but I'll, I'm going to want to go to send right here. So I'm under the send tab, the send tab right here. And what I'm going to do is go to my wallet and go to the receive tab and the address is right here, but it's easier for me to scan the QR code here to send some funds. So I have the barcode app on my phone as well as this, so I can scan the address. So what I will do on my wallet is there's a small QR code up here and I'm going to touch on that. It brings up the scanner automatically. So I'm now going, so I'm now going up and scanning that QR code. So on my wallet, I can see that the address is XYX at the start and then EYNO at the end. And the address on my wallet after scanning that QR code is the same. So I'm sending to the correct address. So now what I'll do, I'll put in an amount to send. It's going to be dash, so I'll put in 0 0.001 dash. That's the amount I'm going to send. And we're going to send it like so. And confirm. So there it is now, it's right uh, on my wallet, it's unconfirmed, uh, but it will confirm in a few minutes. Uh, Dash does have the instant send uh, application, and you can do that from the actual Dash Core wallet on the mobile phone. Uh, but in this case, I'm not using that particular wallet. So we can now go to uh, history right here, and it's got a record here of, uh, of, of this transaction coming through. So this is a basic tutorial on the Dash Electrum wallet. I'd just like to emphasize that uh, governments, for example, will spend uh, billions of dollars in protection of, of countries, for example. And indeed, they're not the only ones. Banks, banks are the ones who spend billions also on security. So with cryptocurrencies, you are your own bank. So what you've got to do is look after your seed. Now, I would suggest that if your portfolio or your the amount that you have in a particular wallet gets to a reasonably large amount, that you use the hardware wallets that are available. Uh, there are ones like the Trezor and the Ledger and so forth. Uh, but, but for now, uh, the uh, for everyday stuff, these basic wallets are very good just have that seed, put it in at least two different places. So please enjoy cryptocurrencies and I'll bid you goodbye for now.